Well, hello, and welcome to this exercise on quadratic inequalities uh, based on an IGCSC maths uh, question. Uh, now, I'm not trying to answer the question. I'm trying to explain how we got the answers. I hope that makes sense. Right. Now, it says, uh, find the set of values of x for which um, 3 into x plus 1 squared is greater than 9 minus x. Now, if we now expand the bracket, we have uh, 3 into x squared plus 2x plus 1 greater than 9 minus x. And if we don't multiply everything in the bracket by 3, we end up with uh, 3x squared plus 6x plus 3 is greater than 9 minus x. If we then subtract 9 from both sides and add x on, onto both sides, we end up with uh, 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. Now, from now on, we are going to find critical points such that the, the, the values from the critical point either to the left or to the right will give us y values greater than 0. So we want y values above the x-axis. Okay? So this now becomes 3x squared so that this now becomes 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. And from that, we're going to find the critical points. So we have this here. We have that 3x squared plus 9x minus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, note here that 9x minus 2x will give us 7x. So we've made the difference at all. If we then factorize this first bit here, Okay, and the next bit here, this one here, we end up with uh, 3x into x plus 3 minus 2 to x plus 3. Now, in both groups, x plus 3 is common. So our final factorization then becomes uh, 3x minus 2 into x plus 3. Now, we have to solve this equation here. Now, if 3x minus 2 is equal to uh, 0, then 3x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 2 over 3. So that's our first critical point. Now we try this one, uh, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Right, now, x plus 3 is equal to 0, which means that x is equal to minus 3. So we've got two critical points, where x is 2 over 3, and where x is equal to minus 3. So these are going to be critical points. We want to find out whether it is to the left or the right of these points. Okay? So the graph of 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 equal to 0 will look something like this one here. So you notice here that these are the critical points. This one here, where x is equal to 2 over 3, and this one here with x is equal to minus 3. Okay, so if we then mark in our critical points, that one, that one, and note the, that this circle there, the circles there are open circles there, that open circles there, because we're looking for 3 to x plus 1 all squared greater than 9 minus x, not greater than or equal to 9 minus x. So now, from the graph, all the points beyond or greater than x equal to 2 over 3 will give us positive y values. See down there. And all the points less than x equal to minus 3 will give us will also give us positive y values. Now, if you want to check, in this situation, all the points between x equal to 2 over 3 and x equal to minus 3. All the positive, so if you try x equal to 0, for instance, when x is equal to 0, there, when x equal to 0, that's 0, that's 0, so you've got minus 6, so x, so y value will be minus 6 there. So when x is 0, y is minus 6, and that's below the x axis, and it's not, it's not positive. Okay, so now the regions would then be 
the valid the valid regions will be the, the shaded regions as it got here so that will be the valid regions there okay so our final solution will then be that x is greater than 2 over 3 or less than minus 3 okay so i hope all that made some sense please please su subscribe and thank you for watching